truth of the game is the aftermath. When I lose, we still wave our commander's flag. Riding with Wentz on the center, making the pass. Jahan Dotson, young rookie, making a splash. The burgundy and gold, that's what we about. Jonathan Allen knocking QBs to the ground. We got hearts and nobody can shut us down. Cause this is the greatest show in town. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Well, I would say, hey, what's up, Watch the Commander fans? But shh, shh, oh, I can't. I can't give that what's up because I literally told y'all all week what was going to happen. I said Dallas was going to come in there and beat us dumb. Yeah, it looked good early on. We... We scored three after they scored seven. They went back down the field. They scored seven again, 14 to three. We scored a touchdown. I'm sure everybody thinking in their head, oh, well, we can hold them. We could get another score. We moving the ball against them. <laughs> that, that shit is a mirage, man. This team is a mirage. If you have not watched the commanders play this year, then you missing the whole point of this situation. This team makes it look good, makes it look competitive, but they're not trying to win games. When you go for it continuously on fourth down and short, first of all, I'm gonna go into a, a one particular play. As much as I love you, Terry McLaurin, but you has been a no-show this, this year. I don't even know how the hell you have gotten 600 some yards on the season. Don't know how. You have been not good. A ball that you, you had the advantage over Stephon Gilmore. Third and one. I wish we had did a screen play at 31 and kept the ball, kept the drive alive and then come back to that, that um taking the shot down the field to you. But you caught you trying to catch the ball with your chest with Stephon Gilmore holding you. If you had jumped up while he was holding your arm, you could have get a PI. That, that was Jahan B um B Rob. They all all yards. Um I think he's second behind you. Um, so, and the fact of the matter is, is that you are getting out, you're getting outperformed. You don't get no kind of separation, none whatsoever. No kind of separation to help your quarterback out. You see Jahan out there make, getting separation. You see Curtis Samuel out there getting separation. Um, Logan Tom. Thomas with a half a leg out there trying to get separation. Terry, you supposed to be the guy. You are the captain of this team. Where were you? Where where are where have you been in games? If you think losing to the Giants made you upset, sitting on the sideline looking sad, but guess what? You are captain of this team, and captains should not be sitting on in it, not engaged. Yeah. Yeah, getting your ass kicked week, week by week by week, it sucks. But get so me personally, I don't feel sad for you. Don't feel sad. I like I said, people don't understand. Before. I don't have some talks with a lot of people, and they not so on Terry. They not so. I think you're great. Good receiver. <clears throat> Do I think you being misutilized? Yeah, but at the same time, you're professional. You got a contract. You should be able to find ways to help your quarterback out, especially a young quarterback. You should be able to say, you know what? Hey, let me find ways. Jahan did it. Pringle did it. 
I mean, you saw them routed one way, came back another way, helped their quarterback out. Terry won't get separation. He's just ready to catch the ball. So stick your arms. Stop having alligator arms. Stick your arms out. Make some diving plays. Throw your body out there. You know what I'm saying? What are you saving yourself for? Last year, you was jumping out there, grabbing, grabbing balls out the air and everything. What's wrong with you this year? What's wrong with you this year? My thing, my thing is this. And I said, I have said this before. This team ain't going nowhere. People need to stop holding all of this expectations for this team to win games. Started last week with the Giants and it led into this game this week. Oh, no, 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 no. It's going to get worse. We got Miami next week at home. I don't think that game will be sold out. And if that if that, that stadium is sold out, it's because you're going to have Miami Dolphins players there. Don't know if Ron Rivera will get fired tomorrow or Monday, whoever, whatever knows. But guess what? When Ian Rappaport said that today, I pretty much knew why. Eric B. Enemy is not the guy. We all jumped on Eric B. Enemy on the offseason. All oh, Eric B. Enemy is going to come in there. Eric B. Enemy is trying to run this offense like the Kansas City Chiefs, where you can't do that. Then he don't even know how to adjust properly in games. He looks lost. He, looks, he stares at the clipboard, at the play calling so long. It's not like he's sending things in there so fast. I was watching Ben Johnson today with the Detroit Lions, even though they was getting their backs broke by Green Bay, but they was making adjustments. They were trying to figure out ways to get the ball. They were putting the ball out there. They was getting yardage here and there. Even Matt LaFleur on the other side, uh, Green Bay, they don't even have a great team, a better team. Well, I guess they you could say their team probably better than us. Join Love, first year on the center after Aaron Rodgers, looking good this season, finally getting the flow of things. Where Where's Washington? The offensive line looks bad. The offensive line looks bad. I mean, what? We had like what three today? I think we had like three today. And it's 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 sad. It's sad to sit here and say, well, oh well, guess what? Um, we're gonna be able to pull this out. The offensive line is so horrible to where it doesn't even make sense. I mean, ch ch I'm I'm gonna go back and look at this. Step statistical. Uh, Sam Howell had 300 yards, four sacks. He was sacked four times. In the last couple of games, he was only getting sacked two times. So he came into the game with 51 sacks. He left out with 54 sacks in the game. One interception, which was a bad throw because he shouldn't have thrown the ball, and it landed to Deron Bland, where he ended up setting a record for his fifth, straight, fifth time this season of a um INT. And I think that's what his, you know, return what two, three, or whatever, all of them probably for Brian Robinson, 51, I mean 15 carries. He get naked up a little bit. He had 53 yards. Brian Robinson in the past game only had 11 yards catching. Should have been more than that. Sam Howell had that one touchdown rush. That's it. That that's the only touchdown in the game. That one yard. Curtis Samuel, nine. He was targeted 12 times, nine for 100. Dotson was targeted six. He caught five for 52. Terry McLaurin was targeted 11 times. 11 times Terry McLaurin was um, targeted. He only caught four of them shit for 50 yards. You was targeted 11 times in the game, just as much as Curtis Samuel, and you only caught four of your shit. There's something wrong there. And if Terry's going to play like this for the rest of the season, then get rid of his ass. 
I'm sorry, but people, you don't, y'all might not want to hear this. I ain't over guys being, being on this team, being on this team that don't want to play. Yeah, you have to go through the fight. You cannot sit here and, and not be a competitor. Put right things in the interview, but you're a captain of this team and you get targeted 11 times and you only caught four for 50. 11, you should have had at least all 11 of your targets. You should have had at least nine of your 11 targets or 10 of your 11. You, that guy, you want to be that guy, but you're not acting like that guy. And like I said, whether you, you agree with me or not, if Terry continues to play like this for the rest of the season, you, you probably need to look to move him on. Because mentally, Terry checked out. He's he's checked out in the game. He's checked out. Sam Howell is throwing to him. He's not making plays. But he'll throw the ball to Curtis Samuel, Curtis Samuel, Jahan Dotson, and they're making plays. Even De'Ami Brown, I mean, he only had one target. He ain't caught nothing, but he was at least trying to get open and so Gibson had three catches. He, he was targeted four times and he had caught two for 15. Trash. You know what I'm saying? Trash. Cole Turner came just came in the game. One catch, one reception, 29 yards. Me personally, I will go with look. This is what I would do. These bum ass dudes on this team to to make changes to see what the team see what the other ownership got he's not gonna do that he won't do that at all because he know he's on his way out but i would end and 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 get rid of logan thomas um 300 yards He's probably going to continue to lead yards. His fan rate is 18, passing rate was 74. Um, the defense sucked bad. Cody Barton, four solos, one tackle for loss. Jamie Davis, nowhere to be found, two tackles. Kendall Fuller, to, um, Cam Kerr, Butler. Did all four of his. Payne had all four of his. Two tackles for a lot of purple. Nobody looked like they wanted to do anything. You know what I'm saying? Seconds. We had the ball for 36 54, and we only got 10. We only got 10 points out of that. Make that make sense to me. Dallas threw for 331 yards. Guess what? The Washington defense gave up 331 yards. Total yards for Dallas, 431, my bad. They rushed the ball for 100 yards when they really did anything. We rushed the ball for 100 yards. Touchdowns. We have four penalties. As we did thing, we have one turnover, and that was the interception. Four sacks. We ran 75 plays. 75 plays. Dallas only ran 50. And guess what? What? Dallas didn't even play their best game. They wasn't even hitting on all cylinders like they want to. Because guess what? Early in the game, Dallas missed some easy touchdowns. Easy touchdowns over us. St. Jude. Is always the guy giving up. He let CD Lamb burn him. I mean, like literally burn him. And if Dak had put it on the number, CD Lamb would have caught that with a walk in touchdown because he had to step on it. He had to step on it. 
So my thing is this, guys. Why, why would y'all be mad? Why would y'all be mad? We already see the writing on the wall from Ron Rivera. And being honest, Eric B. Enemy, Ron Rivera, Jack Del Rio, you could trade Allen, you could trade Terry, get some young blood, get some more individual, build this team up in a two, two year span, let this team get competitive. Honestly, I like Sam Howell, but season to trade some pieces and they get more draft picks i'm drafting another quarterback i will go for target i'll go for a tight end build this offensive lineup i will get a backup quarterback if jane and daniel if, if we was able to get a two first round um trade out from where we at and get another first round pick and or be able to and still be able to get like somebody like jaden daniels Oh, Michael Penix, I'm all for it. Because the thing about it is, Sam Howell, I don't know if ownership sold on Sam Howell. Now, they might could give him another year to see what he could do. But if they, if Washington does have a chance to draft a quarterback in the draft, they're going to draft a quarterback. Y'all might not want to hear it, but I'm telling you, they are. Like, I shout out to my man, Her. Herb, I kept you. I've been trying to tell her, her this. He's like, oh, Eric B. Enemy ain't going nowhere because of Sam Howell. Paris, fire, dark river. When they got put out the playoffs. And they had a successful season last year because guess what? MB won the, the MVP over Joker, but Joker won the championship. Guess what? They're supposed to go far in the playoffs, and they didn't win as far as they supposed to. They got dark rivers. So don't sit down. Look at what the Sixers are now this year. They traded away James Harden. Team playing better. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the level of business. There ain't nobody. I'm not tied to nobody on this team. None. I ain't tied to nobody. Because the fact that man, I mean, yeah, Sam Howell has done some things, but we don't have a legit running game to you know because we don't have a stout offensive line, so the running game can't flourish like it needs to flourish because you can't see what what Robinson could really do or Rod Riggins, what they could really do with a really good offensive line. You don't know what Sam Howell really could do with a really good offensive line. So maybe they might keep Sam Howell one more year. Maybe they would draft a quarterback just in case he does not work out. We did it before with RG3 and Kirk Cousins. So what? It won't be no difference. I mean, I like Sam Howell. I think he can, but he holds the ball too long. He takes unnecessary sacks. He's been very indecisive. But he has shown some promise, and he has done some good things. So, therefore, that's what I'm just saying. Nobody on this roster right now is untouchable. Now, some people say, oh, Terry, Jonathan Allen. No, nobody's on this team is untouchable. There ain't nobody on this team is untouchable. I, if I could make deals to get a high second round pick for Terry McLaurin or the or, or Jonathan Allen, you damn right I'm doing it. You damn right I'm going to do it. You know why? Because the fact of the matter is is that I could trade back up and I could use one of them to trade back up in the first round to get the get who I want. So that is where my mind will be. You could get two second round picks in the third, or two a second. You could use saying and get who you were looking for. So, my thing is this here: if you're looking for a feel good story, I don't read Twitter. Everybody's ranting and raving. Oh, Eric, the enemy. Oh, Ron Rivera got to go. 
And the only thing about it is, is that they're all, the reason why Josh Harris probably said that today for Ian Rappaport to report it is that because who are they going to have as an interim coach? Can't make adjustments. So you go turn the last seven games over to Airbnb and say, well, okay, hey, let me see what you got. And then and this team gets demolished all the way out, you know, where we can't score. I don't think Airbnb enemy can handle head coaching and calling plays at the same time. Unless he's going to head coach and get his quarterback coach to call the plays. That's the only way because he, he does that when – Shady McCoy said that what he said on um speak. And then you got think about this too. Eric the enemy is just like Ron Rivera. They can motivate the shit out of you, but they ain't no leaders of men. I don't care about Ron being in the military. I don't care, but his record as host shows otherwise. Eric the enemy having show he could call plays effectively. You know what I'm saying? You, you know that him and Patrick Mahomes had a little bit issue over there. So they probably wanted to move off from him. But I don't think he's going to get a head coaching job. I don't see – I don't Eric going to be getting a head coaching job. I don't see – and I'm sorry – and people may, you know, people may feel some type of way of me saying it. He ain't good. The offense is too stagnant. They throw too much. There is no other creativity in this line. And that's probably why Terry's game is suffering. Because there ain't, there isn't no creativity in this, in this offense. So, but leave it to the commanders to continue to get stomped out. 31-19 last week. 45 10 this week. Could be 70 to nothing next week when the Dolphins come home, come to town. It's about to get ugly, folks. And if you're going to be mad last week, you're going to be mad this week, and you're going to be mad. Ron, Jack, and EB, they ain't going to have no words for y'all. They ain't going to tell y'all all the good stuff, give y'all hope, and guess what y'all going to do? Oh, we probably could beat the Dolphins. Nah, don't don't set yourself up like that. I didn't even set myself up for this Thanksgiving with the Dallas Cowboys. I didn't. I said it. I predict 56 to zip. That's what I predict. I did say Sam was going to have a decent game throwing the ball, but scoring points wise, I didn't see it. I didn't expect for the score in this game. So. My thing is this here is it's, it's a problem, man. Until Josh Harris, Mitchell Real, Maggie Johnson, they clean up. I, I really want somebody to be fired tomorrow or Monday. That's being honest with you. I really do. I really want to see somebody get fired. But will it happen? No, nah, maybe, maybe not. But guess what? We always can hope for next week. So this is your boy Martin for Live Wire Sports Media. Check out all my other content. Um, yeah, check out my all of my content. I'm on social uh, all over the social media. I have to say the least. I don't have that pain of defeat because this team is already defeated. So therefore, I could just bring content and my logic, my logic thinking and what I see and what I think could happen. But I do, I will bring a whole, whole in-depth video, not tonight, probably tomorrow about 
where do the Washington Commanders go from here? And I'll probably do another video probably over the weekend about some coaching candidates that could be replaced. And um, I might, and then I'll probably the week after, I might do another video about players that could still be here, players who might not be here, or players who could be traded. So you just got to stay tuned from week to week. But until then, I holler.